In this video, we are going to go over how to use Excel and CSV files to build Nastran bulk data files. So this is my goal. My goal is to use Excel to build these grid entries, which spe specify the nodes in the uh, finite element model. So let me do this. Let me go ahead and copy this file to a different directory. I'll call it to free field. And then this is what we're going to modify in this uh, quick tutorial. Now, I'm going to be using the MSC Nastran Quick Reference Guide. This is going to be your uh, probably number one useful resource when you're uh, uh, creating these bulk data files. I'm going to go to a section called, let's see, let me actually go to the section. It's called Format of Bulk Data Entries. This is where you find information about all the different formats in the bulk data file. Today we're going to be using the so-called uh, free field format which uses commas to separate your fields or columns. So let me go ahead and now do the following. Let me go ahead and open Excel and let me do this. Let me go ahead and just start creating some entries here. Grid 1 is that x equals 10, negative 10, and y equals 0, and z equals 0. And then we'll just go ahead and repeat the process here in Excel. It's going to be 3 and 4, 10, 0, and 0, 0, negative 10, 0. And then here we'll go ahead and finish it up here. And then we'll go ahead and save this as a comma separated value. So we'll go to that directory and save it as a CSV file. We'll call it uh, entry file grids CSV. We'll say yes. And then here, if we look inside of that CSV file, we'll see that instead of using spaces to separate uh, the fields or the columns, we're now using commas. Now let me go ahead and delete the old entries. And let me go ahead and add a pointer, include file grids.csv. And so now I'm pointing to this other file. The bulk data reader will look in this file for additional entries. Now there's one issue with these entries. If you go back to the quick reference guide and you go to the bulk data entry for grid, let's go ahead and find that entry. Each field has a different type. So if, you, if you've if you ever done programming, your variables will sometimes have different types. Um, they can either be a string, they can be an integer, or they could be a number with a decimal point. It's kind of similar here with the, the bulk data entry. Some of these fields for the grid entry, some of them are strings, just characters, or they could be numbers with decimal points, or they can be integers. Here, if we look at the ID field, if you will, here in parentheses, we get told the type. The type is an integer. If you look at the position of the grid point, you see that the type is a real type. If you look back uh, at this section format of the bulk data entries, you get descriptions of what an integer is or what the real type or the character type are. So here, if you look at an integer, it does not contain a decimal point. If we look back at the CSV file, the ID is an integer and should not have a decimal point. If you look at the, the real fields, must contain a decimal point. But if you look here, there is no decimal point. You have to manually add it to each uh, field uh, that requires it. Alternatively, you can go back to Excel you can highlight the columns or the fields and you can force the how do i say the the cells to have a decimal point so go to category number and then specify the number of uh, decimal places and then here we're now using a decimal place save the file click yes and if you look back here now i'm using a uh, decimal points so let's go ahead and run nastran and let's make sure that this bulk data file runs. 
and then we zoom out a little and then scroll to the very bottom. I can see that we now have some stresses and displacements, so this analysis was successful. Uh, one thing that's worth looking at though is what the entries look like to the Nastrum bulk data reader. So if you go back to this file, let's go ahead and delete the old echo. So right now the echo was set to none, but we're going to say, hey, repeat the grid entries as you read them. The reason we want to do this, we want to see what Nastram thinks the entries look like when it reads them. So if we look here and we go to the section called sorted bulk data echo, we see what the entries look like when Nastram reads the files. And before, this is what the entries look like. But when Nastran reads them, this is what Nastran thinks it, uh, the, the data looks like. So then here you can use this information to sort of debug whether or not you're creating your files properly or not. Now, what if you want to do this again for another file? Um, I recommend, or another entry rather, I recommend creating a separate file for each unique uh, bulk data entry. So here I'm going to create a, a DD val entry. So here, let me go ahead and uh, give these uh, different IDs. So this is going to be another uh, set of bulk data entries that I'm creating with Excel. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now, these are special entries in the sense that these entries are going to span multiple lines, if you will. Right now, the grid entry is a pretty easy entry. Sometimes you will have an entry that spans multiple lines. I think it might be worth showing you what I mean by this. So here's an example, hopefully, that has an entry with multiple lines, right? So here, the C bar entry is an example of an entry that spans multiple rows or multiple lines. Uh, what I'm doing with the DD val entry, I'm showing you what happens when you de when you're dealing with an entry that has multiple lines. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and copy all of these values to the other lines, and let me go ahead and format these columns because remember these are going to be columns that are real types, if you will. Once we're done here, let's go ahead and save this, click yes. And then if I look back in that directory, in that file, you can see my DD val entries now have multiple fields, multiple columns. And now let me go back to the original file and let me add a pointer to that new file, DD val and we'll go ahead and run it. Oh, one other thing. I want to know what the entries look like to the bulk data reader. So I'll use echo equals sort, open, grid, comma, DD val, close. And we'll go ahead and run Nastran. And if we look back in the F06 file, let me do this. Let me go ahead and copy this. So I'm using control shift alt on the keyboard with Notepad++, and I'm selecting all these different rows. I'm going to copy this into a different file. And then I'm going to do this. Well, I'll leave it like that for now. So even though the original file had commas, the bulk data reader has automatically split the line into properly formatted entries. So here you see the value in field 3, field 4, all the way to field 9. Field 10 is blank, essentially. Then uh, field 11 is also blank. Field 12, 13, 14, and so on and so on. So this is how you use Excel and the CSV file to create these entries. Um, oh, one last thing I want to leave you off with. Um, what if you wanted to use a, a value that is very long? So let me go ahead and close some of these files. So let's go ahead and close all of these files to the right. 
So suppose that you had a need to to maybe use 10 characters for your real value. What you can do here, you can set the decimal places to a larger number. So now your values are a lot longer. But remember that the field by default at most can contain eight characters. Once you're done with the eight characters, you're then in the next field. Now this is problematic for us because sometimes we want to use a very long number and we need to overcome this. What you can do is the following. You can use what's called the asterisk, which triggers the large field format. So let's go ahead and use that here and here. And let me do that to the ddval entries also. So here we'll go ahead and do the same thing. ddval asterisk. And save both of those files. And then let's go ahead and run Nastran. So again, the asterisk is going to trigger the large field format. Again, if you go to the quick reference guide and go to section format of bulk data entries, this is all described here in more detail. Now let's go ahead and open the F06 file and let's scroll down to the echo part. And it seems I've made a mistake. Let's go ahead and see if we can find out what's going on. DDVal, oh, I forgot to use decimal points here. Uh, if you see, I have a user fatal message, uh, ddval with ID, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's telling me I need to add decimal points. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, maybe we'll add nine decimal points. And we'll click save and then we'll run Nastran one more time. And we'll go ahead and see what's going on. And like before, we get an updated echo. I'm going to dump this to a separate file. So let's go ahead and control shift alt and select copy to another file. And now what's going on is the following. The default without the asterisk is the following. You only get eight spaces per field. So here I think we had negative 10, 0, 0.0. And then if you ever wanted to, there's this nice button here called uh, show all characters. I think if you go here, view, show symbol, show all characters. This shows you all the hidden characters. Um, so if you really want to go down um, to a very specific level of detail, um, you can also look at that. So here I'm supplying eight characters per field. So if you count that, this is eight characters. If you count this, this is eight characters. When you use the asterisk, which triggers the large field format, each field is now 16 characters. So if you look at grid one, field one now spans 16 characters, field two spans 16 characters, field three spans another 16 characters, and so on and so on. When you get up to the 72 character, you cannot add more data, so then you have to go to the next line. You skip eight characters and you start again 16 characters 16 16 16 when you get this uh, character 72 you stop and go to the next line let me hide all of this and show you what's going on here so same thing for the dd valve so you have 16 characters 16 characters 16 characters another 16 characters and then you stop and then you go to the next uh, line uh, you skip eight characters and then you have another 16 characters now Whereas before, with the small field format, this was field 1, this was field 2, field 3, field 4, and so on and so on. Since the fields are now longer, this is field 1, this is field 2, this is field 3, field 4, oh, no, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then field 5, and then field 6. So the large field format does get a little bit more complicated, but that's okay because if you go back to the quick reference guide, this document, this section does a great job of explaining all these different formats. Um, so to quickly summarize, number one, use echo equals sort and then bulk data entries so you can see 
what the entries look like to the file reader of Nastron called the bulk data reader. And then here, depending on the type, use the format cells option to format the columns into either integers or real numbers with decimal points. So I think that is a good summary of how to use Excel and CSV to create these bulk data entries. Thank you for watching.